How are you? You look a bit under the weather. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, come on in. Um, tell me what's what seems to be the problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what kind of symptoms have you been exhibiting, do you know? Okay. So a general necrosis of the flesh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Loss of limbs. Mm-hmm. Boils and lesions. Yeah. And an insatiable lust for human flesh. Yeah. Okay. Well, these all sound like early onset zombification. Now, the good news is that in this day and age, it's not a death sentence. So I'm glad that you came to me when you did. We should be able to treat this today with a general cleanup of the face and the body, followed by administering quite a lot of antibiotics, which will help to restart the immune system. And then we'll just conduct a few sensory tests to make sure that everything's working correctly. All the uh, different messages are being sent appropriately around the body. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Just very quickly to make absolutely certain that you're in fact the undead. Can you just have you been bitten recently at all? Mm hmm. Mm, you can see a rather nasty mark on your right forearm. Do you want to take a look? Thank you. Yeah? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do me a favour. If you'd be so kind, just look at this light. Don't move your head. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. So, your pupils are dilated and they're fixed and they don't change regardless of how much light stimulation I put into your eye. That is a typical sign of being dead. So what we'll do today, and the most important thing that you can do for me to make my job easier, so just relax, okay? Just take it easy. You don't have to do anything. This is easy. We'll have this sorted out within 20 minutes, I promise. And just so you know that there are loads of wonderful rehabilitation groups and services run by the National Health Service that have helped a lot of post-zombification survivors work their way back into society, basically. Okay, so there'll be loads of support for you after this. You don't need to do anything. This is easy. Just listen to what I say, and I'll explain what I'm doing as I do it. Okay? Good. So let me just... The first thing I need to do is clean you up. Okay? Because what can happen often is that actually this disease can spread based on the lesions and the sores and the open wounds that you carry around with you as one of the undead. So we've got to clean up those areas and then we've got to cut some of them off as well. Okay? So I'm just going to, just alcoholic wipe, just very gently going to clean around your face. Okay? Very gently. You okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're doing really well already. Right. 
So you've got a number of wounds around your air, facial area. And if we left these untreated, more often than not, they would go septic, or they might just encourage the spread of the illness. And that's the last thing we want to do. We want to get you. Don't worry if you hear any funny noises. This pandemic has got everyone very worried. But here at the hospital, we're confident everyone will be okay. Okay? If you could just very quickly close your eyes for me. Ten points to Gryffindor for you, because I should be, but we actually deduced a long time ago that this strain of the zombie virus is spread by touch and not by air. So deduct ten points from Gryffindor, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to give those points to Slytherin. I hope you're happy with yourself for being a smart bum. Smart bum. scissors and we're going to just cut off some of the excess skin or lesions which could also cultivate growth of the virus okay so I'm gonna get in a little bit closer that's it just relax Since the quarantine, there's been a lot of military vehicles driving to and fro. Yeah. Well, since the virus hit, most of us have been evacuated. But I wanted to stay behind to see if I could help people. That's painting me to be some kind of saint.
Okay. <laughs> I'm just very gently going to put my hand over your eyes while I get in very close and cut along here. Okay. Thank you. So here we go. Ready? some ointment on it because it must be hurting quite a lot just a few drops I'm just going to massage that in <laughs> it's a bit of a treat getting bitten by a zombie eh? Symmetry. Let's do your left arm as well. Okay. Right. Let me change my gloves. this reflex hammer to test reflexes in your arms okay so if you could hold out your left arm so put it in my hand thank you I'm just gonna tap it ready <laughs> and again and again thank you one more time there we go okay good and your right arm same again Ready? And again. And again. And one more time. Okay. So now I'm just going to inject you with very strong antibacterial cocktail of my own creation. So this is a syringe. first. You ready? And the count to three. Three, two, one. That's it. And righty. Mm -hmm. On the count of three, three, two, one. Okay. 
This is just look at me. Mm-hmm. Keep looking at me. Mm-hmm. Other side again. Mm-hmm. Okay, other side again. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna get in really close, briefly. And just take a look to make sure that everything's okay. All right. Oops. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Perfection. Seems to look for it to recede. the big test is that when I get in this class do you want me my brains <laughs> mm -hmm. just close your eyes for me I can help if you want and mm hmm Okay. Good. Now with this course of antibiotics, you will have to take them for the rest of your life. But having a life, in this case, is more preferable than not having one. So I'll be prescribing you that course of antibiotics in perpetuity. some anti-inflammatories because you will find where you've lost limbs or where there have been particularly nasty sores there will be a buildup of inflammation and cellulitis so you will want to take anti-inflammatories to help bring that down and to essentially help you cope with the searing pain that comes from coming back from the dead but otherwise I'm very happy with how it's turned out today and I think I'm just going to take a quick look in your eyes again, okay? Yeah. So I am happy to officially declare you alive. Muzzle tov. I hope you're very pleased and Yes, it will be difficult to readjust the world. I mean, to be honest with you, you're probably quite fortunate to the extent actually, did you say that you had killed anyone? Well, a lot of the patients we get in who suffer from zombification have in fact killed a number of people, in some cases, people very close to them. So, I mean, at least it's a relief to you that you haven't killed anyone too close anyway. And of course, under the current edict from the, the, um, well, the temporary government, the de facto government, um, you can't be tried for crimes that you committed when you were dead. So you can go back to your life or what's left of it and just kind of wait out the apocalypse like the rest of us, okay? But I want you to th thank you for stopping by. It's been a really wonderful meeting you and all the best for the future. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.